In this video, we're gonna learn that uh, how to create purchase orders in Sage 50 and uh, how we check the reports of those purchase order which we created in the system. So we have this purchase order. We're gonna order these items to our supplier to the vendor Red Ferry that we need 20 pieces of keyboard and the unit price is 30 20 pieces of mouse unit price is 20 so that is a list of the purchase order which we're gonna issue to our supplier that is red ferry so let's see how we created we're gonna create this purchase order in sage 50 so in this vendors and purchases we do have this tab or this button that is purchase order from here you can create a new purchase order you can select auto creation for uh, multiple purchase order for different suppliers you can add it or view the purchase order which you created and we can also create a memorized purchase order so the next time if you want to create the purchase order you can use that the template of that purchase order and uh, if you want to print a different purchase order we have this option so the first step is that we need to create the purchase order you can click this option but we're gonna use here the task in the task we have this purchase orders click it and this window will open so the first step is that you need to select the vendor ID so we are creating for the supplier that is red ferry and that is the address of the supplier and that is the address of our company that is Burhan Electronics and that is the date when you're issuing the purchase order so we're gonna issue this today and then we have this goods through that they need to deliver the items before this purchase order gonna be cancelled so this is valid for till 22nd of the same month August and that is a unique purchase order number and that is a mandatory information if you don't enter uh, enter this uh, purchase order number it will give uh, like it will create difficulty for you when you're receiving the inventories so let's suppose our purchase order number is 63633 and once you once you receive all the stock against this purchase order it will be closed automatically then we have this drop ship you can check this option if you want that this supplier red ferry they will not deliver the order to burhan electronics but they will deliver the order from red ferry to our customer directly so in that case we use this option drop ship then uh, we don't have this information that customer sale order number that is customer invoice number that is the di discount amount that is the default terms and condition we enter then we have this shipping method that is our default one that is our accounts payable account which we also enter default that is 201 and then we have this quantity so our first quantity the first item is the keyboard so we are going to order 20 pieces of keyboard and the price is 30 so the quantity that is 20 enter and our first item is that is keyboard that is the description you can add it that right now no, I'm not doing this enter and that is a jail account of inventory because when you, once you purchase it your stock that will be increased so that is 108 and that is a unit price that is 30 enter that is the amount enter this job is used when you're doing the job costing right now not applicable enter then again we have 20 enter and we're gonna order the next item that is the mouse so you can click this option or you can use the keyboard short key the right arrow key to open it so that is mouse enter 
enter that is a GL account enter and the unit price is that is 20 here so we can change that unit price that is 20 enter 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 the next quantity is 20 and the next item is that is CPU you can use the keyboard right arrow key CPU uh, press enter enter that is a unit price unit price is 80 you can change it enter 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 the next quantity is 20 enter and uh, the next item is monitor enter enter you can check the price the price is 60 enter enter quantity is 20 the next item is hard drive enter enter and the unit price is 200 and then we have mobile 2500 enter 20 right arrow we have mobile enter enter and that is the unit price 2500 enter and that is the total amount enter so that is how we created the purchase order uh, we don't have the vendor balances here it is zero right now because we didn't enter the beginning balance for this red ferry and the total amount of purchase order is 57,800 so that is how we create purchase order in sage 50 accounting and then click this option to save and when you're working in a live environment you can uh, print this one and it will save automatically you can email it to the supplier also you can create a memorize for the future use if you click this option we will cover in the next videos we're not adding a new uh, rows also you want if you want to give additional note about the purchase order you can click this option you can see the journal entries behind of this purchase order you can check this uh, you can open this report also you can enter an event also you can uh, that is a default layout and we can also the check the reports from here so this is our uh, I just save it that is how you create the purchase order and if you want to check you can use these that previous record button to check the previous created purchase order or you can click the list and here you can see that how many purchase orders we created in our company